This is what we will make in this video. Learning how to make progress bars and add a fun indicator to the end of the bars will allow you to create fun, customize, and visually appealing progress bars for your next data visualization dashboard. Hi there, my name is Randy and I am a member of the Data School New York's sixth cohort at the Information Lab. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. The dataset we will be using for this tutorial is the 2019 New York City Schools Survey student dataset from New York City Open Data. You can find the link to this dataset in the description below. Feel free to pause the video now, download the data, and upload it into Tableau if you would like to follow along. Otherwise, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so we have the data set loaded into Tableau. Navigate to a new sheet. In the data pane, as you can see, we have a lot of fields, but don't worry, we won't be using most of them. Our goal will be to show which Staten Island schools have the lowest student participation percentage. Now, we don't have a field for boroughs, but let's select the DBN pill containing all of the school codes and drop it onto our rows shelf. If you are prompted, select Add All Members. Now, we can see that there are borough indicators embedded in these codes. We can now filter out the Staten Island schools by using a calculated field. To do this, navigate to the data pane, select the drop-down menu, and choose Create a Calculated Field. Let's name this calculation Staten Island Schools. We will now use the Contains function to look within the DBN field for the letter R. Press OK. And now that this calculation has been created, let's click and drag it to the filter shelf. Tableau will ask you if you want to display all of the criteria that do or do not meet the request. We do want to see all of the Staten Island schools, so select True. Now we can see that all of the DBNs that contain an R are the only ones that remain. And therefore, those are all of our Staten Island schools. If and when you want to take a look at other boroughs, you can duplicate this calculated field and then update it. From the data pane, find and bring school names onto the rows shelf. Then bring total student response rate to the column shelf. Sort in ascending order so that we see the schools with the lowest student response rates at the top. Right-click the School Names pill and select Filter. Navigate to the top tab and set the settings to the bottom 10 by Student Responses. Our results have disappeared because there are no Staten Island schools in the bottom 10 schools throughout the entire data set. In order to see the bottom 10 Staten Island schools, we need to navigate to our filter shelf. Right-click on the Staten Island Schools pill and select Add to Context. If you would like to learn more about this, check out the Context Filter section in my blog post on the Tableau Order of Operations. You can also find the link to this in the description below. Now, Right-click on your mouse or control-click on your keyboard to select the Student Responses pill and drag it to the right. This will create a duplicate of that pill and a duplicate of our current graph. Navigate to the third Marks card on the left, also titled Total Student Response Rate. Select Shape from the drop-down menu and then Shape again from the six marks below it. Select More Options and choose the shape that you would like to use for your progress bar indicator. I really wanted a custom shape, so if you would like to learn how to use your own custom shape, be sure to check out the 
Add Custom Shapes video from our How To in Tableau series. The link for this video will also be in the description below. Let's resize so that we can see everything clearly. I'm going to select Entire View, or I'm going to increase the height of my graphs by clicking and dragging, or pressing Control and the up arrow on my keyboard. I'm going to make my bars narrower by going to the second marks card for the bars and changing their size. And I will make my icons larger by selecting the third marks card for my icons and changing their size as well. Now we are ready to combine the two graphs together. To do this, we right click on the second pill in the column shelf and select dual axis. Notice that our bars have disappeared and this is because Tableau thinks that we now want both fields to be displayed as shapes since we have put them both on the same axis. To get back to what our goal is, let's navigate to the second marks card for our bars and in the drop down change it from automatic back to bars. There we go. Let's just take care of some styling preferences next. I will add the percentage labels to my icons marks card. Feel free to place yours accordingly. I want mine to the right of my icon and I will also choose my font sizing and color. I will sit, fit everything to entire view so I can see all of my bars. I will also get rid of the grid lines on my chart. Always give your chart a title. Let's name ours the top 10 Staten Island schools with the lowest student response rate. We'll finish up by undoing show header to get rid of our axes. We'll undo show header for our DVNs and we will hide field names for rows. We can also format the titles of our schools. And voila, all done. We now have progress bars with icons for the progress indicators. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in building fun progress charts. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love this related how-to video by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail in the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.